Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another Simsphonies video. So today we are going to be doing a 30k village house in Hanford on Bagley and this house is actually the start of another save file that I started with my friend Buana Sims since you liked our Tartosa save file really much and we've got a lot of requests uh, on are we going to do another save file together so we decided to build in Hanford and Bagley because this is by far our favorite world and it's just so adorable and it was only just the perfect time to do another save file for you guys and yeah let's start with this build so uh, I really wanted to have like one house that is a little bit cheaper than the other ones that you can actually move pretty quickly inside but I had like a small idea in my head like a small story and this is that this house belongs to a single mom and her son that is going to a primary school so he's a young child still but she unfortunately lost her husband and they lived in a bigger house here on Hanford and Bagley and they had like a bigger farm with a lot of farm animals and things like that and her husband was actually tending all these animals and they had their own food and milk and all of these other things but she's a creative kind she was more into her garden and making like, like flower arrangements for their beautiful house uh, but unfortunately her husband died because his chickens attacked him one day and it was unfortunately very ugly so now when she lives alone that farm became too much for her and also she doesn't really know a lot about how to tend for the animals so she and her son actually bought this house for 30k simoleons and sell their old farm and so she decided to kind of make her small shop let's say it like that and now she is doing only flower arrangements and selling them on the Hanford on Bagley's market and she really likes that the job even though it doesn't she doesn't make so much money uh, like she had when she was with her husband but she's very happy and pleased with her life and her son is very good at school he's a very bright kid and she's very happy with him as well he gets to have his own room as well he really likes green colors so she really wanted to decorate his room with his taste so that and now they live in this house and hopefully they will live happily ever after uh, by the way this house has a double bed in her, in mom's room so you don't have to play along with this story that i figure out but i don't know it was like a cute story and it definitely influenced my interior that you're going to see later on and Buana and I decided to use custom content so I decided to use custom content in this house as well but unfortunately since I've got only 30k I wasn't able to add tons of different packs or to add too much clutter in the house so the primary idea was to make it feel homey and cozy and I'm really hoping that I was able to achieve that and there are not that many packs, uh, CC packs in particular that have 
items that are in the budget if you know what i mean most of the custom content items are super expensive so for this one i used the ones that i find the most fitting and also that are good for the budget and for the exterior of the house i used organic set for the walls for this stone walls uh, and organic set is the set from the house of harlix i also use these beautiful windows from peacemaker from his cottage grant hanford and those windows are just the recolors of the hanford on bagley ones like from the cottage living but they're bigger and and there are many more options in in which you can use these windows and also i used this beautiful windows for the greenhouse from the auntie's vera's bathroom by pierre sim and those are the windows that i really like to use especially for the greenhouses because they're adorable and we don't have nothing like it and also from the Pierre Sim, I used this roof texture that you can see in here. And for the majority of the landscaping, I was using cottage living. And those items are mostly from the debug section that I'm always using when I'm doing landscapes but this time I wanted to use those items in particular because most of them are for free so yeah that's cheating I guess but on the other hand I really wanted to give you like a beautiful small small little garden because she's into flowers and flower arranging and things like that so it only makes sense that she has a adorable little garden also I used some planters from Garden at Home by Max20 and also from Jardin by Felix Andre and Harry's House of Harlicks. Most of these items are really quite adorable. Uh, Cottage Living is by far my favorite pack. I think that I said that a thousand times, but I don't know when I'm going to change my mind because it's going to be pretty hard to top uh, this particular pack. You are going to be able to download this house not only in the save file but also you are going to be able to download this house on my CurseForge page. If you need a link for this build, please, please write a comment link slash instructions if you need them if you don't need instructions just put a link and i'm going to send it to you direct directly and also i added this flower stand that you can see in here um, I found it in the debug section as well and unfortunately I don't think it's functional when you put it into a house so I'm not going to be mad if you delete it I just uh, edited in here because it made sense and it looked cute it almost looked like she was selling her flowers at home as well so if that doesn't work for you you can delete it and if you like it anyways just leave it in here and you can see that i added flower arranging table outside uh, to be quite frank i didn't find the mm, smart place to edit inside so i added up outside and i think it works if you have seasons and of course you need to have seasons for the flower arranging table um, unfortunately you're not going to be able to use that table during the rainy days or things like that but also if you find um, a better spot inside of the house you can definitely 
do that and you saw me using some organic windows for the greenhouse and I'm just going to add a few details on the exterior of this house uh, to make it even cuter and to make the theme even better. I decided to use these small mushrooms everywhere because they were totally adorable and that are one of my favorites. And right now we are going to go into the interior of this house, you guys. Now when we did the exterior for our single mom and her son, let's check out the interior that I'm going to basically walk you through and tell you what kind of items did I use, especially because we have only 30k budget. These beautiful wallpapers are from Harry's Coastal Collection and they're one of my favorites. And even though that's a coastal themed pack, I I think it goes very very well with cottage vibe as well and I really love this pattern on on them and they look just so adorable I use them in all of the house so we have like a small hallway when we enter the house and I didn't do nothing much in here I use this organic mirror. You are going to notice that I used organic set from the House of Harlots uh, quite a lot in here, just because Felix Andre and Harry did that pack specifically for an English countryside, so the vibe just goes so well. I'm going to put these hooks in here from Auntie's Vera bathroom from Pierisim. Um, I use these hooks everywhere, so not only in the bathrooms, but I use them in every single build, especially when I have like a rustic kind of build. And we're going to finish off the hallway with this kind of Wellington's boots, and I put one for mother and for her son. Those boots are from organic set as well. Now we have the first bathroom. In here I use this chalk uh, natural tiles from Charlie Pancakes and also I used winter garden floor tiles from Pierisim. Uh, these are one of my favorites. They're absolutely the cutest. I used this shower wall from House of Harlicks from Basic Set and also used their shower in here because it was one of the cheapest showers and obviously it looks really, really nice. The House of Harlicks did the whole like basic collection and also one separate collection with only bathroom items and I really like those because they're good for your budget and they look pretty nice. I use this toilet from Max20 from his bathroom pack. Max20 is one of the best creators for doing a budget CC build because he has reasonable prices for his items. For the sink, I used horse wrench. I used horse wrench quite a lot in here, combined with cottage living for the most of time, just because it gives that rustic vibes and also I really like the texture of those items. Also, I used this mirror from Max Wenty's bathroom. That's the same set. Overall, I didn't want to use a lot of packs, so for the soap, I'm going to use Auntie's Vera from Pierre Sim because we already used his hangers. And we are going to add some towels over here also from Pierisim but these ones are from his Stefan collection. Um, I really like them because they look so fluffy. They're like super cute texture and I also really want this house to be cute even though it's under like quite a restricted budget. I really wanted it to 
to look cute and the way I like it. Uh, so we are now in a dining room. I use this launch set from Fairy Sim. I mean, I used only the table right here, but I used these chairs from Horse Ranch because they're not expensive. They're quite cheap, but they look really nice with the overall vibe. Also, I used this rug from One Tree Day. I really needed to have circular kind of rug, but all of the ones that I have and that look cute, they're all expensive, so I decided to use this one. I'm going to use this Domaine de Cleu vase from Pierre Sim. By the way, this is one of my favorite bouquets because the texture is absolutely beautiful. We are going to continue using a little bit more horse ranch. I'm going to just quickly add these books from Cottage Living in here because books uh, are also using as a bookshelf and bookshelves are expensive so I decided to add only the books in here and I think they really have sense in here. And I'm just going to finish up with this cute little mirror from Get Together. This table is one of my favorite things in the game when it comes to EA picks. It's just, I don't know. Uh, first of all, it's super small. It fits in a lot of different spaces, but it's a little bit wider and it has this drawers. I'm going to add this super, super cute uh, lamp from the Clutter Cat from her snuggle set. I don't know, it just fits this vibe so much and I really don't have a lot of lamps like this in the game so I decided to use this one. In here we are just going to add one light from Cottage Living. I'm going to use some pictures from Buana Sims in here because she has a beautiful English countryside themes on her paintings and they're not that expensive. She was really taking care of the pricing. Here in the living room we are going to use this Faux fireplace. We all have it. I think that it came with like a winter uh, free collection. I just placed uh, this cute little candles from the snuggle set from the clutter cat as I said before. I really kind of like those candles because they look quite realistic to me like with bags and everything on them. I think they're super adorable. I'm going to use this art frame TV from Buana Sims. It looks like a painting, so it basically looks like a Samsung TV that you can buy, uh, like with the frame that looks like a picture, uh, which is so, so nice, especially in a place like this. Uh, in here, I'm going to take this plant from Kitchen, uh, from Felix Sandre and Harry. They're super old set, but it's still one of my favorites. And on the other side, I'm going to use some pieces from this organic sectional sofa uh, from House of Harlix. It has a lot of different pieces that you can combine and it's not so expensive. It's actually 150 simoleons for a piece, uh, which is pretty fine. And also I decided to take this part over here to have an armchair as well in the same style but i'm going to use another pattern just to play a little bit with different patterns which is really english cottage style and also i'm going to use this lamp from snuggle set uh, it's from the same collection, like the one that we use in the living room, but this one is a taller one. And I really like how it looks over here. I actually decided to use a new painting from the Love Struck. Um, if you don't have Love Struck, I literally used only this painting in here, so it's not a big deal. You can use any painting in here. 
This one is just the perfect size for something that I like, so I decided to incorporate it in here. This rug is from Woodland Ranch from uh, Pierre Sim. And to be quite honest, this one is more expensive than I would like it to be. But it's really nice. <laughs> it works very, very nice with the space. So I decided to edit anyways. If you want to change it up for something cheaper, you can do that as well, of course. In front of here, I'm going to use this coffee table and now let's go to the kitchen. Um, at the end, I decided to make kitchen in this area over here and I would use some planters inside. I just going to take this ones over here from the Jardin pack just because I'm not sure how much money we are going to spend overall so it's better to have some inside and some outside and if I'm going to have a budget at the end I'm going to add more outside but I was thinking to have some planters in the house just in case you have a seasons you cannot grow anything if it's winter. For the kitchen I used one of my most favorite counters from Harry's Coastal uh, collection. I really really like them so so much and I decided to use them in here. And this time I use them because they are not so expensive. They are like 196 simoleons for a counter, which is not that much for CC counter. But I use the fridge from Cottage Living because it looks like Smeg and it's adorable and it's one of the cheapest fridges and I really like that one. I used this sink also from Harry's Coastal Collection. And I decided to use this dish rack uh, from The Sims for rent. Also, I didn't use for rent a lot, so if you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Uh, for this house, definitely the most important packs are Cottage Living and Horse Ranch. Those packs are the most important. I used this stove from Max20's Classic Kitchen. Uh, it's also one of the cheapest, but it's not trash. It's very high quality for the item that costs that much. So I was very excited for this one in particular. We are just going to add like a base game trash in here. And also I wanted this item from Laundry Day in here because I think it looks super cute. This item will add a little bit more to the complete style. And this is basically the first floor, you guys. We finished our bathroom and the living room and also dining room and the kitchen. And we can finally go to the second floor. Floor. So basically we have two bedrooms over here and one bathroom. Of course one bedroom is for son and one is for her. I also use these beds from Horse Ranch. As I said before it just perfectly fits into the style and the item by itself it's not so expensive so I decided to add this one in here and we will give him like a desk for his homework we will add this rug from the werewolves it's one of my favorite rugs also i believe i used werewolves only for this rug so if you don't have it it's not such a big deal i'm just going to use this notebook from sunny sunday by the quarter cat just to add something to this desk to add more realism and also this from her mellow mod spec on this wall i used a little bit more of 
Quaterkit and actually this one is from both Quaterkit and Felix Andre uh, Fairylicious. Uh, that collection is beautiful for, for children because it's inspired by fairy tales and it's just absolutely adorable. For his wardrobe I'm going to use this small one from the horse ranch and I'm just going to place like a little basket over here in the middle. It's a bit problematic because it's snatching onto the wardrobe not here on the shelf but Maxis keeps on doing it so that's the bedroom for our kid and also we have a bedroom for our mom you have a double bed so you don't need to you know play with the single mom story but that was kind of my story i thought that single mom and the kid would look so cute in this little house we are going to add this cute wardrobe from the cottage living it's definitely my favorite pack you have so many things in here especially this debug items and live edit mode items that i was using for the exterior there is just so many things that you can do with that pack and in terms of gameplay uh, in terms of items in terms of world like Hanford Umbagli is my by far favorite world it's just so beautiful I want every world in the Sims to look so beautiful for the rug in mama's room I decided to use this one from snowy escape I really like how fluffy it is but I kind of want to make it smaller something like this she is also getting a desk from the horse ranch and also i used in both their rooms this by far my favorite chair chairs in the game still from paranormal like just the details on them like this rattan and this beautiful wood i don't know i just really really like these chairs and i just needed to take this adorable computer from cottage living because it's just the prettiest maybe i could choose another swatch maybe like this green one i really like this swatch actually i never used it before and it's super beautiful i'm going to finish up this bedroom with boana's paintings so we have this antique posters from Buana Sims and also this one that I used downstairs as well. We are going to finish up with this bathroom. It's the same bathroom. I use the same items. Let's see how much we spend on our starter right now. So we could probably reduce our pricing a little bit but i don't want to do that i think this house turned out to be super cute for a single mom and her son and i think that they're going to enjoy it in here and throughout time they're going to buy some cute things for them overall i think it's pretty polished and finished house um you you have everything that you need and this flower arranging table outside for her and also plenty space to grow her flowers or vegetables or whatever she wants to grow basically so you guys i'm really hoping that you like this build of mine uh as i said before this is going to be the next save file with Buana and myself and we are going to do this English countryside world in Hanford on Bagley by using custom content again. We are very excited because you had all of these positive comments and you were very excited about our Tortosa save file. If you didn't check that one out, you can do that right now by clicking over here. So that would be it, you guys, for today's build. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't subscribe onto my channel yet, please do that and press like so algorithm can start liking me a little bit more. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sending you a lot, a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye, you guys.